we're here today at the V&A. I just thought it'd be interesting to see um, what the experience is like now, um, now that you have to book an appointment to get in. Normally I wouldn't um, be accepting any new normal, but um, I bought a friends and family ticket last year, so I thought there's no point in cutting off my nose to spite my face. So I've invited my friends here um, to come with me and um, we're going to try and go to the Mary Quant exhibition. Now we're just waiting for Jackie to appear. And have you no. been to the V&A before Trisha? No, never. First never. time. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Why haven't you come before now? It's uh, just because it's mixed reviews. Some people say it's not worth the money, but this is a special um exhibition so i'm hoping uh -huh. it's going to be good but but it's free i mean the, the permanent exhibition is uh, free yeah but of course like the library no one's allowed in anymore you can't just walk in off the street anyway the first thing that um i i, I did was i phoned up i thought well what is the um procedure for someone who doesn't have a computer they just presume that people everyone owns a computer yeah. don't they and um after about 10 minutes I got through to a human and um, anyway I was able to book it um, and and then I said at the end when he started telling me oh you need to print out your tickets I watch your email address and I said look what if someone doesn't have a computer what is the procedure and he said well in that case you book your time and uh, you come along and you quote your reference number so I thought that's quite um, quite good for people to know step one phone phone the V&A so you need a telephone number and then um, get a reference number for them and then you show up and you'll be met by someone at the door well there's there's the third member of the team <laughs> right Jackie no we're just gonna go in now uh, we booked it for 12 right and we're going to see if we now if we get any hassle um, for not wearing masks that's uh, the next challenge isn't it yeah uh -huh. got my tickets with me because I do have a printer and all these things that they expect people to have. Oh, is it that side? <laughs> it's so complicated now, isn't it? We, yeah, oh yeah, there's the, the hand sanitizer at the door. Yeah. Goody, goody. Hi. No, we're, all, we're exempt. Thank you. Right, I'll give you back the quad ones because we'll need them upstairs. Thanks very much. And we'll scan these in for you. Looks like we're in. Seems you could get more displays in. That's what a lot of people say. Oh, yeah. pink arrows, pink arrows. Just in case you're walking in the wrong direction. Oh, one person allowed on a seat. Yeah. Please, look. Hi. Hi. We've got it. We're going to the. Yes, you just pass the ball. You'll see the desk for it. Found uh, more propaganda in the exhibition outside the Mary Quant. Yeah. And then put Black Lives Matter, abolish the police. Uh -huh. And that's financed by George Soros. Oh, yes, designer mask. Black Lives Matter. Yeah. yeah. Oh, film this oh, it's disgusting. And that, I'm maybe starting might have worn that one. Or, yeah. 
all the rainbows. Oh, thank you, MHS. Thank you for closing your doors in March. Thank you. Hygiene friendly visits. We're all treated as if we're diseased. More propaganda. The uniform in it. Thank you. Back in the NHS again. We're doing what we can to give people as comfortable and a, as normal a death as possible. Put on PPE. Masks, gowns, gloves. Yeah, you're talking about That's resuscitation. Uh, it's really cheap. Before we can actually resuscitate you. That leads to terrible delays and you know poor outcomes as a consequence. So there's safety to speeding up things and getting the resuscitation going quicker, and there's safety to come to be cheered up at the VA. <laughs> what do you think, Jackie? Symbols of suppression everywhere. Yeah, all propaganda. Oh. This is a crown. They seem to want to advertise Burger King as well, and uh, a person puts their head um, through through the middle of it so they can keep their distance. Singapore branches of Burger King promote physical distancing in a fun and DIY way by introducing oversized version of their classic cardboard crowns. Oh my God! And just when we thought it couldn't get worse, people are cuddling. Good with plastic in between them. I mean, oh my God. A round of applause. We don't have any plastic. So we managed, we were allowed in the toilets. Um, we've made it this far. <laughs> they're lovely, they're lovely, aren't they? The yeah. toilets are a lovely experience, actually. And, uh, but what did we notice, uh, Jackie? Did you want a drink? I wanted to drink. Right. Um, and then, no, you're not For your safety, this water fountain is temporarily out of use. So, you've got to be, you've got to go dehydrated. I mean, yeah, you can't even get a, a little drink of water nowadays. So we're in the permanent exhibition now, and we've been round it. And are we feeling calmer? Yeah, but yes. yeah. Mhm. Mm feel much more calm. Much calmer. What's that over there? Wedding dress. A lovely wedding dress. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, I'm feeling Absolute, much. Stunning. I'm feeling much calmer too. I mean, it's uh, this is what we want to get away from all that misery, and uh, yeah. you know, and what's out just, there in the foyer is not right. I just want to be uh -huh. feel normal. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. But anyway, we've enjoyed being here very much. Oh. I didn't know whether she was actually just not. She, she was working in that pub, but maybe. Yeah. We have a mm -hmm. That's good, isn't it? Oh, it's brilliant. Brilliant. See that Sarah's there. Salisbury Crags. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a. Um, it's called the Illusionist, and it's been illustrated by Duncan of Jordanston graduates. It's absolutely wonderful. down on Princess Street. Oh, Jenner's. My mum used to take me there. What don't you like, Jackie? Uh, yeah. That Well, the wood. No, no, there's no, there's no purpose to the wood. Yeah. Absolutely none. It's just a, a total waste. I thought it'd be good if people could, you know, sledge down it or something. But no, there's no, there's no fun activities. No, and look at, you know, and it's just this big, big vacuous space. That's, that's what, that's what Jim was talking about, about the waste of space. Yeah, and people say that if they've got um, no. um, vertigo, they can't come in here. Actually, you can see it. That's a funny effect on your eyes. Mm. That's a, I'm looking at that and I'm thinking, mm -hmm. I couldn't look at it for too long. No. Well, I didn't know you could go outside uh, beyond the, the cafe, but uh, that's where we are now. Into the brilliant sunshine. 
Can we see the Tay Bridge? I can see the lawnmower there. Look. Uh huh. Right, I'm just going to interview my friends now and uh, see what they thought about their experience. Um, and you know, any information you found useful about you know contactless cards or you know anything, um, please share it. But did you like the exhibition? Jackie yeah. first. I absolutely adored it. It really. It took me back when I was a, a little girl, you know, and I remember all the lovely clothes that the, when the boutiques first came to Dundee. Uh -huh. I used to see all the, the really nice clothes and uh, I loved the material, I loved the design, the Mary Quant, and it, it, it's just and brilliant to see it all again, you know, after about 40, 50 years, you know. Uh -huh. oh, um, great. I, I just adored it. Ah, oh, great. With all the... Uh -huh. the no, and carry on. No, no, it's fine. All right, we'll go back to we're doing positive stuff yeah, and yeah. before the negative. Okay, um, Trisha, what did you think of the Mary Quant exhibition? I thought it was great, and a lot of the fashions could still be wearable today. Uh -huh. I thought, and I like the shoes and the hats <laughs> and some of the dresses. Really, a good exhibition. Uh -huh. yeah, okay, I enjoyed it. And what about the um, the permanent exhibition? Um, well. I don't really think that we need an exhibition on social distancing and masks. Everybody knows that anyway. Mm -hmm. I, whether they believe it or not, that's a waste of space. We could have a different exhibition there, something interesting. Yeah. That's what I uh -huh. think. Um, what, what did you, we find? Because you did a bit of research who was taking cash and who wasn't. Oh so, yeah. yeah, what, was, yeah, what when, did you find when, there? Well, I was quite surprised that um, when you went into the, the, the cafe, restaurant, mm -hmm. um, the, they wouldn't take cash. Um, so unfortunately, we just had to leave cash because we didn't have any other method of payment. Uh, and and when you, it was strange when you went downstairs to the actual um, souvenir shop uh -huh. and they take cash there. Uh -huh. and, and, and cards and anything, you know, yeah. that you can, what you're using, that you Mm -hmm. So why why is is such a big difference? I don't know. Um, but it, cash is still legal legal tender. But yeah, the point yeah. Is, yeah. But the point is, um, you can go to pay for the to the Mary Quant exhibition with cash, and that's a good thing yeah, to yeah, know about, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. So